Congressman Jeff Fortenberry has represented Nebraska's first congressional district, which includes the city of Lincoln, since he initially won in 2004. And since then, every two years, he's had easy re-election campaigns. But that's not exactly the case this year, as he has a formidable opponent in Nebraska State Senator Kate Bowles. In an interview at her campaign office in Lincoln, Kate Bowles tells me she hears about access to health care all across her expansive district. And he's voted their way against lower prescription prices and to remove protections for pre-existing conditions. She criticizes Congressman Fortenberry's votes to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Instead, she wants to build on it, giving Americans an option to buy health care through the government. Um, but if you are someone who perhaps lost their employment because of coronavirus, you should have a public option to rely on so that your health care needs are met no matter what. Fire. Look at that! Oh, nice. Congressman Fortenberry spoke to 3 News Now after touring Cornerstone Christian School in Bellevue. He says he wants to expand health care options through employers and worries a public option is merely a stepping stone to something else. A public option pulls more and more people away from, again, affordable access to private insurance where most Americans get it and puts us on the road to Medicare for all. Whoever wins will likely be voting on another coronavirus relief package. Fortenberry wants to protect the healthcare system, move aggressively towards treatments, and expand testing, plus more financial support. Perhaps additional help to individuals and families. We're not out of the woods yet, and this has been very traumatic for people. And third is an extension of the PPP program. Bowles agrees that Americans need more financial help, but wants to ensure the country is prepared for whenever a vaccine comes. But I think that the healthcare pieces must be at the top of the list um, so that we can manage coronavirus to the greatest extent possible. The district has cities like Norfolk, Madison, and Schuyler, which have large Hispanic populations. Both candidates want to see the people in DACA get a path to citizenship and then make other immigration changes. I think we also uh, have to keep our humanity at the border. Um, even in tense circumstances, um, we need to make sure that we're keeping families together and, and prioritizing a humane response to immigration. If you don't solve the underneath, underlying problem, you will continue to have this problem in the future. And that's not fair to people who are trying to immigrate here legally. The district is very Republican, and it's a tough hill to climb for Bowles. She feels like she has a shot. Well, Fortenberry says his experience is a major reason he deserves another term. John Kipper, 3 News Now.